Hello everyone and welcome to Steve's Dirty Tricks. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to use a DLL file in your code that you don't have a lib file for. Now if you're familiar with the normal way of using DLLs is that you would have a header file for that DLL supplied by whoever supplies the DLL and you also have a lib file which you have to also include in your project. Now sometimes especially if you're trying to um, hack or crack something you won't have that um, lib file you won't have the header file so how do you use a DLL when all you have is a DLL well you can use a dirty trick and I'm going to show you how to do it now so I've I've already created a a very very simple DLL file here it's uh, all it does is show a dialog but you know, not much use as a DLL, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Now, you need to get your hands on something called Dependency Walker. If you Google it, you can find it very easily. A very useful tool. This is Dependency Walker here, already running. I'm just going to drag my DLL into it. Don't worry about that error message. Okay, and you can see there my function show dialog. copy function name. Now I'm going to create a small program that can use that DLL. So first of all let's create a new C++ program. Get rid of this default stuff. Okay, first thing to do is to include Windows H. Okay, done. Now that's our um, DLL function. So what we need to do is create a type def for that function. So it's type def. It's a void function. It doesn't return anything. If it returns something like an int or something, then you'd put that instead. But this one's a void function, so type def void. Now usually they're standard calls. Sometimes they're not. and we need the name of the type. This is the the actual type that we're defining here. Now you can call this anything you like, but I usually try and keep it the same as the function itself. But this is this is the type, not the function, so I just need to make it slightly different. So I'm going to put a underscore after it. Okay, then close the parenthesis. So that's one part of it. The next part is also in parenthesis, and that is the the, the parameters. In this case it's a constant char pointer. And that's it, that's the type def done. Now we need to create a pointer of that type. So I'm just going to call that show dialog proper. Okay, get rid of those and so that's that's the type def done. <clears throat> now, we need to load in that library into the address space of the application. So, we're going to need a pointer to that library. So, I'm going to make a global pointer H module, which is the handle type for a loaded DLL. Uh, I'm just going to call that example DLL. All right, that's set up. So we've got our type definition now done. So what we need to do now is load the library. So example DLL equals load library and then the actual name of the file. That's simple. Sometimes a load library can return um, a null pointer if it didn't load the library properly. I'm not going to check for that because it's I know it's going to work so it doesn't really matter but to program properly you would then check example DLL is not null and then display an error or whatever okay next we need to get the address of the actual function itself so we can do that with another call called get proc address okay now get proc address takes two 
parameters it takes the module of the library which we've already got example DLL and it also takes the name of the function now in our case you might think it's show dialog here yeah well you'd be wrong what you need is the undecorated name so if we go back to dependency walker you can see here undecorate C++ functions click that and it shows you this gobbledygook here that's what you actually need so copy that place that in there and that's it but that by itself is no good we need to assign that to our pointer so our pointer is called show dialog so show dialog equals that and that's it you've now loaded the library and assigned a pointer of the same type to that function in that library so it should just be a question of calling a function which we can do just like any other C++ method show dialog okay so let's compile that give it a name test.c test example dot cpp uh, I've got an error here oh yeah yeah get proc address returns a, a far proc type which is no good for this we need to cast it to our actual type which is show dialog underscore see that's the type name that's the pointer name different things okay that should now compile hopefully there we go and run the program and there we go simple and that's the code not very complicated at all alright stay tuned for our next dirty trick bye